Ego depletion. It's the idea that when you resist something, something that you're trying to control yourself, like a cookie, you're going to weaken your mind. Now, there's been studies that show that it's proven, there's studies that show it kind of works, and there's studies that show that it's completely wrong. So what is it? Let's get started. But first, I want you to just slap that like button. All right, let's get started. So what exactly is ego depletion, and is it actually true? Well, what happened was, there was an experiment by, I believe his, I pronounced his name is Bauminster, Bauminster, uh, whatever, in the 1990s, and what he did was he gave participants two things, you know, cookies and radishes. I don't know if it was like raw radish or if it was like the stuff you see that comes with sushi, but he gave them radishes. And he believed that when you ate the radish, it's going to suck your willpower because you resisted the cookies and you ate some raw radish. I don't know if it's raw. I hope it's not raw. You know, I hope it, I hope it was a good, good, good old, I hope it was some good old radish, all right? You know, just hearty, hearty meal, all right? Just like me. Anyways, now that we continue the story, now he said, now after that, after they resisted the cookie, you know, he divided two participants, one to eat the cookie, you know, didn't, didn't resist much, and then the second half, which is to, you know, eat the radish, because apparently eating radish is, is a lot of willpower. And then they gave him an impossible puzzle to solve. And he believed that when you gave him this impossible puzzle to solve, the people who didn't resist the cookie, you know, they had some storage left, some, some jumbi juice to like go like, okay, I can, I can solve this and work on it longer, stay more focused. And with his findings, it showed that people, you know, who took the radish, you know, apparently they, they spent shorter times on the puzzle. However, many years later, a lot of tests have been proven that there's a lot of bias in the experiment and future, you know, experimentations replicating the actual experiment showed that, you know, it's not actually true. The reason why it, it could have happened was because, you know, various of other reasons. <laughs> That's the reason of bias in the scientific experiment, you know. It's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly which one is which. Which leads us to the question, does ego depletion exist? And I think it's all a matter of mindset and habits, all right? Hear me out. See, people who believe that instead of, you know, resisting the cookie and then, you know, it just depletes their willpower, it just weakens their mind. There's people who believe that because that has been the studies for years now. However, there's a small minority set and if you believe the opposite, you know, if you believe that resisting the cookie strengthens your habits, strengthens your mind, all right, does some, does some pull-ups, does some push-ups, you know, just strengthening it one step at a time kind of deal, and when you strengthen it, it makes your mind stronger, and it doesn't feel, you know, you're going to resist more, and it all matters on the type of mindset you have. If you have a positive mindset where resisting the cookie is going to, you know, explode your growth, then you're gonna have exploding growth when you resist that cookie because it won't just stop at a cookie, but you know, it'll be even tougher task, you know, like starting buying a new house and all that good stuff. Whereas if you have the mindset where if you believe, you truly believe, not some half-baked like, yeah, yeah, I kinda, I kinda believe that's gonna weaken it. I mean like truly believe that's gonna weaken your mindset, then you are probably gonna believe and then you're gonna find out, you know, actual, evidence quote unquote evidence that it's true even though it's not you see your mind is a very very powerful too it is it is the so powerful I, 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 I forgot all the facts that were thrown at me in school but it's pretty powerful okay and the way we shape our beliefs is how we view the world and how we view the world can impact the actions we take now it doesn't stop at have it doesn't now it doesn't stop where it's just a mindset, okay? It's also about habits. Now, if you had the habit of believing this for years, okay, you, you've ingrained this idea that resisting cookies reduces your mindset. Now, it's, it's gonna be ingrained, and you've been practicing, practicing this religiously for years, all right? It's gonna be hard to break, and it's, it's these habits that are ingrained. You can break them, but it's gonna be pretty dang hard, okay? Because every time, you know, you reach for the cookie, you subconsciously or hopefully not consciously believe you're weakening your mind. And then you ingrain that every time you eat a cookie. 
And that habit isn't the best, you know, over and one cookie is not going to do you much, you know, a whole box of Oreos. But if you keep doing this year after year, it's going to become subconscious where when you do that, it's going to weaken your mind. Now, you can always change your habits, but if you had the habit where if you were like, okay, I'm going to eat this cookie, it's going to resist it, you know, I'm going to make, if I resist this cookie, you know, I'm, I'm no bueno, you know, that kind of stuff, then it's going to be like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, all, all right, every time you, you resist not eat the cookie, every time you resist that cookie, it's going to be like, all right, I'm strengthening my mind one over time, and over time, you know, the mind that weakens, you know, it's going to be much more easy to fall into temptations, whereas if you had the habit of, you know, programming that every time is strengthening, well, your mind is going to go like this. And this, over time, it creates this huge divergence where, of course, the stronger mind is going to be a lot stronger, and then the, <laughs> the slower and the weaker mind is, of course, going to go down. And, of course, we can always change the habit, you know, and make like this little triangle thing, but, you know, it just all comes down to mindset and habit. That's all for today. I, that's all for today. I hope you found something useful. If you did, I'd appreciate a like a lot. All right. All right. Peace out, guys. See ya.